हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर नर्सेज प्रिपरेशन आई एम नीरज कुमार कैथल टुडे वी आर प्रेजेंटिंग मेथड्स ऑफ ऑब्स्टेट्रिक एग्जामिनेशन ऑब्स्टेट्रिक ग्रिप्स और लियोपोल्स मैन्यूवर्स लेट्स बिगिन इन ऑब्स्टेट्रिक्स लियोपोल्स मैन्यूवर आर अ कॉमन एंड सिस्टमिक वे टू डिटरमाइन द पोजिशन ऑफ फीटर्स इन साइड द वुमेन्स यूट्रस they are named after the gynecologist christian gernhard leopold there are total four type of obstetric grips or leopold's maneuvers are used first is fundal grip it is also known as first leopold's maneuver second is lateral or umbilical grip it is also called second leopold's maneuver third is pelvic grip or third leopold's maneuver fourth is pelvic grip or fourth leopold's maneuver leopold's maneuver is a method of abdominal palpation by which we can assess fetus position fetus presentation and location of fetal heart sound during the uterine contraction it is contraindicated Now let's talk about the first Leopold's maneuver or fundal grip. While facing the woman, palpate the woman's upper abdomen with both hands. See in the diagram. In the diagram a pregnant woman is lying on the bed and the examiner is facing her and he is palpating palpating the fundal part of the abdomen of women if examiner feels broad irregular soft mass during the palpation it shows breach in fundus if smooth hard globular mass is felt by the examiner it means head in fundus if empty fundal area it denotes transverse lie second lateral or umbilical grip to perform this examiner facing the woman and palpate the abdomen around the umbilicus area you can see in the diagram pregnant woman is lying on bed and the examiner is facing her and palpating with both hands near the umbilicus area to find out the fetal back anterior shoulder and position of limbs this second leopold's maneuver is used fetal back feel firm and smooth fetal extremities hand and legs etc feel small irregularities and protrusions now let's talk about the third leopold's maneuver it is also called paulix grip to determine the fetal part is lying above the inlet or lower the abdomen this is used examiner facing the mother first grabs the lower portion of the abdomen just above the symphysis pubis with thumb and finger of the right hand see in the diagram pregnant woman is lying and the examiner is facing her and he is palpating just above the symphysis pubis with his right hand if engagement is not present then the thumb and fingers came close to each other in transverse lie pelvic grip is empty in the last fourth leopold's maneuver it is also called pelvic grip examiner facing towards the pregnant woman's feet remember this is the only leopold's maneuver in which the examiner is facing the pregnant woman or patient's feet it is used to find presentation and attitude of fetus fingers of both hands used in this grip you can see in the diagram pregnant woman is lying on bed and the examiner is standing at the head side of the woman and facing her feet he is palpating the pelvic part with his both hands fingers 
so everyone this was the important topic and i hope you have learned all the four types of obstetric grips or leopold's maneuver if you find this video is helpful then please click upon the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe our youtube channel for more such interesting videos all the best